everybody, welcome to my channel. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how I got this faux wing liner without using any actual eyeliner. So if you have always wanted to know how to do a wing liner or even if you're a pro at it and you just wanna try a different approach, stay tuned. All right, to get started, you really only need a couple things. You need some type of dark eyeshadow. We're not even gonna use a liner. We're gonna do a faux wing liner without any actual eyeliner. I will tell you a trick that you can do after when we're done with our shadow, but you need dark shadow. So it can be black, brown, blue, purple. I mean, if you wanna go color, go color, but any kind of dark shadow will work, preferably something matte and not with a lot of shimmer. Although again, that's totally up to you. You can do shimmer if you want. You need a brush. It's gotta be kind, not like super fluffy, but kind of fluffy. I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH38. Like it's not a very big brush and this will be perfect. And then the last thing you need is either scotch tape or a band-aid because we are going to mark this off with a cheater guide. Scotch tape is what I usually go for, but we don't have any at my house right now. So a band-aid can work just as well. They're just a little more expensive than scotch tape. So just trying to go on the money saving side, go scotch tape, but a band-aid works as well. All right, let's do it. I'm going to take my band-aid and I'm going to peel off just half and I'm going to put this on my hand. So if you're using tape or a Band-Aid, make sure that you're taking it and putting the sticky on the back of your hand or remove some of the sticky first before applying it to your eye. And then we're gonna make our guide. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I can do this in the monitor. This might be a little difficult. Your guide is gonna be, you're gonna kinda go from the bottom of your lash line to the tail of your brow. Now my tail should come out just a little bit more if I was following like the guide from my nose, but where you put this is where the wing is. So you wanna make sure that you're not going too far, where am I going? Too far that way. You don't want your wing to go straight out, but you don't want it to go straight up here either. You want it to be at an angle. So I kind of follow the natural angle of my eye. My eyes down, they turn down naturally right here. So I want to give them a little lifted oomph. So I'm not going to follow where they come together because then the line would go down here. Can you see how my eyes naturally turn down quite a bit? So I'm gonna actually follow my lower lash line and up like that and follow my line. The best part about this is that you can redo it as many times as you want to figure out your favorite kind because it's just powder, wipe it off, start again. Super easy to do with shadow. So I'm gonna put this guide right on the edge of my eye and apply that Band-Aid. That's gonna look super good right there. And then I can kind of look straight forward and see, see is that gonna where I want it that might be a little low but we're gonna put it on there to see next step is I'm gonna set prepare my eyelid so I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm just gonna set my eyelid with a little bit of concealer you can do um, an eyeshadow primer if you have that you can do foundation I just like to do it with concealer because it's something I already have I know it works well and I always like to set if I'm gonna be using eyeshadow I always like to give that eyeshadow a good base to stick to. So I always do a concealer or an eyeshadow primer and then set that with powder. You always wanna set that concealer foundation. I don't know if you really need to set primers with powder, eyeshadow primers, but I like to set all these with powder because then that powder just melts down into that concealer or foundation, whatever liquid it is, and lets it all set so the powder can sit right on top of it. So I let it sit for just a second, take a fluffy brush and just brush that away and we're ready to go. Okay, this is so simple, it really is. Take your brush. I'm gonna be taking the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Volume One. I love this palette because it's got warm tones, cool tones, everything's matte, it's obviously well used, and I'm gonna actually go in with this Midnight, with this blue. This dark navy is plenty dark. I'm gonna get it on my brush, tap it off, and the only thing I'm gonna do to do this faux wing is I'm just gonna brush it across my lash line, right onto that Band-Aid, just like that. I'm basically just drawing a line. Take a little bit more. And again, how dark and intense and how big the wing is, is totally up to you. This is a great thing to play around, especially if you're new with wing or if you're not really sure how to do it. This is a great way to say, do I like just a little bit of a wing? Do I want a really dramatic one? You can play with it this way without being too committed to anything. So I'm just drawing straight across my lash line, going right up into that Band-Aid or scotch tape. And then because I wanna make sure that this wing itself is nice and dark or defined, I'm gonna brush right onto that Band-Aid back into my lash line. And that's it. 
and that looks a little bit crazy, but wait, watch when we take the tape off. So now I'm gonna take a fluffier brush, just cause I wanna blend this out. I wanna diffuse it a little bit. If you want a really harsh line, then don't diffuse it, but I want it blown out just a little. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and just kind of flick up. Just flick everything up a little bit. Not a ton, but just a little. And then here comes the magic, you ready? Instant, which hand will show this best? Instant wing liner. Boom. And I have a wing, just like that. And like I said, if it's too much and it bled down a little right here, which I don't mind, but again, the good part about not having my makeup totally done is I can take a makeup cloth or my sponge and just clean up right underneath there. And I've got that sharp wing line, just like that, easy peasy. Now, if I wanted to do actual liner, like I have my Kat Von D tattoo liner, this is my favorite liquid liner for a wing, I could map this out and even do it with a lighter color. You could do it with just like a neutral brown just to see the map. And then I could take my liner itself and just trace what I just did, just so that you have it mapped out in a guide. But I generally don't do any of my eye makeup. So I've done my makeup on my face, but nothing here under my eyes until I've done this because one, putting a Band-Aid on your skin right here is gonna rip off any makeup you had anyway. But two, like I said, if you mess these up or if you do the second one and it doesn't match, and they should be sisters, not twins. They don't have to be identical. But if you have one that's like, way over here and this one's way up here, I can't even do my fingers correct on this, then all you do is take a little wet cloth, rub this off, start again, because you don't have your makeup done here. So to finish up, I will just do the second wing and then I will do my under eye concealer, mascara, and I'm done. But just like that, full wing, any color you want, eyeshadow, a Band-Aid or Scotch tape, and you've got yourself a wing liner. I'm gonna do the other one off camera so I make sure they match. You. Oh, oh, gonna sneeze. No. <clears throat> what is. Hello. Don't be popping open. Oh, how to do a wing. Ah, whatever. It's good enough. It's good enough.